What is up, everybody? Today, we're doing my Royal Marine, like, story. My story on how I joined the Royal Marines and why and how I left. So, let's jump into it. I remember the day I was at college, I was doing engineering, I was doing an apprenticeship, but at the time, it was full-time college for two months. And I was in, like, the, the second month, the second week of the second month, and I was just, like, sort of despising going to it. Because I didn't, like, I wasn't very good at it. And I didn't like it. I, that wasn't something I wanted to do. My mum got me the apprenticeship, so I thought, all right, I'll go do that. I did it. Did all the classroom work. I just didn't enjoy any aspect to it. So I started looking online. I remember back in college, this is, the, this is my third year in college, because I went to do ICT first. So this is my third, but back when I was in the other college, I did computing, I was looking, I watched the Marines, you know, the um, uh, the documentary they made when I was at college, and then when I was at the other college, I was like, hmm, Marines, I might, so I started looking into it, started looking at training, what I'd have to do, how long I'd have to train for, all that jazz, and then I decided one day, I was just like, fuck it, I'm going to leave college, I left college but the place I was working I knew I've known the the manager for ages so I was like I probably cost them like two grand's worth of whatever to take me on but um they said yeah you can work here full time and the hours were half seven while four to be honest with you it was probably the best place to work like the people were mega nice uh, but yeah, I, I super did enjoy that. I uh, worked there for a year, and then I left to join the Marines. So, after I left college, I applied, I did my test, I passed my test first time, I did my pre-joining fitness test, I got 10 minutes on the first leg, on the first run, and second one I got 9 minutes. So, yeah, second one I got 9 minutes. And then after that, I did my medical. I remember on the medical, on my medical day, my dad took me, because I couldn't drive, I didn't have a car. My dad took me, and as we were walking into Leeds, there was a massive puddle, it was raining, massive puddle here. And I was walking by the side of it, on the, on the, on, on the sidewalk, and a bus just came, and it just went... So, I remember getting there, wet through, and just, this guy just comes out, he sees me and he's just like, he sort of like giggles to himself and he's like, and he walks off and he comes back with like, like a propane, like gas fire thing that, and I just stood in front of it and I was like, wow, mega warm. But after that, we went into the doctor's room, did all the inspections, you know, the eyes, the hearing, the feet, the knees, he checks everything, does urine, urine sample. I passed, obviously. Then the next step was PRMC. Uh, I remember PRMC very well. Um, first day, you do your two 1.5 mile runs. First run is a warm up. Second run is at best effort. And then after that, you go to the gym. Your first thing you do in the gym is your bleep test. I got 13.5 on the bleep test. And then you move on to your actual uh, press up, sit ups, pull ups. Press ups I got 35, sit ups I got 70, pull ups I got 10. Funny story on the 10, when I was doing the pull ups, I, I was doing the 10, I got my head up and then I tried again and I dropped and then, it, and, then it, and then you just stand there and wait for everyone to finish and then they tell you your number and it was like 8, 12, 10 and he told me I got 10. And at the end, you have to tell one of the corporals that is in the PRMC team what you got. And I was like last up, and I went to him, what did you get? I was like 10 corporal. And he sort of was like, are you lying to me? I was like, no corporal. And then he was like, wait there. And then he went and talked to the guy, to the other corporal that took me, that told me. And he was talking, he was like, and then he was like, right, go stand over there. And he was like, he genuinely thought I was lying to him. Like, I would lie to him. But after that, I think we went swimming. Swimming was 
dead easy. Big tip, if you're not a strong swimmer, learn to swim. It would really help. Lots of people went there, wouldn't jump off the diving board, first thing. And that, that just shows, like, you know, you scared of heights, you, you, you can't face your fears. And, um, just jumping in, if you can't swim to the bottom, best tip for you, because I used to swim a lot, don't, like, let me show you. If you're, if you're treading water like that, do not, if you have to go to the bottom of the pool, do not go like that, head first. Do not try and kick up and kick down. What you want to do is you just want to push the water. I like just use all your strength to push the water down. And when you're down, just start crossing your legs. And then you'll get to the bottom and you pick the book up and you just kick off the floor. Oh, you don't, you don't kick off the floor. You're not allowed to kick off the floor. You just swim back up. And instead of doing that, you're just wasting a load of energy. I know loads of people did that. But just going like that, just using your hands to push the water to use it to your advantage to go down a lot easier. You can use that in training and everything. You do a lot of going underwater and that's the easiest way to, uh, to do it. But after that, I think that was the end of the day. We had food. The food's alright if you're really hungry, which we were. But they have Naffy there. You can go buy Mars bars and everything, which everyone did. Which was, um, we just had a binge of sugar. Um, I was in a room full of six people first night. Someone, the first, like waking up in the morning, one of the persons was already in his suit ready to leave because he was on his third or second and he was like, I don't want to mess this up. So he just went. So I was in a room of five. I think every one of us passed in that room. Um, but yeah, second day you've got your bomb field, which is really, really fun. Um, You've got the assault course, sort of like the jumping bit, you know, the jumping over the water, <laughs> the handlebar, the, the thing. Um, and then you've got, then at the end they sort of, like, I, don't, I can't, oh yeah, who does, uh, not who does wins, um, pays to be a winner. And what that is, is basically, you can, you're in a pair, and whoever gets to that certain goal, say if it's run a thousand, run a hundred meters, whoever's first, can rest. Whoever's last has to go do it again until they win their partner. And that can go on for quite a while. Um, you Like, if you're fast, you can get there and you can rest. It's way easier. So. And then, after that, you've got the endurance course, which is a fun memory. Um, I was at the back, at the start. I remember going out in the, the, the van that they take you in. I was at the back, and you go through a tunnel first time, and um, everyone was taking the piss. Like everyone was like going slow. No one, you can't take over anyone in that tunnel. Um, and one of the the corporal was like, right, you two, uh, me and his name was Danville. Uh, me and him were at the back. It was like you two get to the front now. So we got to the front, and from there on out, I was at the front the majority of the time. Um, the bit where you dunk your head underwater, I did it in winter, and it's not the worst thing. You just gotta, you gotta get your head right under the water. Otherwise, you know, they don't let you. They make you do it again. Um, but after that, you're just running up a hill. You do crawls. You crawl through a load of shit, load of mud, water. When there's water, try and swim. Don't try and crawl through the water. Try and swim through a little. T it's like that deep. Just swim. It's a lot easier. Um, you will fuck up your knees, I tell you this much. Um, oh, one thing. I had fucked up toes because when I was choosing my boots for the day, um, I put mine to dry. I didn't have them on bottom field. I had my own boots on bottom field that fit. And then for the endurance course, I put them to dry. And when I came back to get them, they'd gone. And I tried a lot of pairs on and I couldn't find any pair that actually fit me. So I took a pair that was probably like a size 10, 9 and a half, and it was like that much, you had that much uh, room, and I was like, oh, this is fine, this, this will be fine. As soon as I started running on the endurance course, I was like, ah, oh, shit, my feet are going to be fucked. So for the remain, remainder of the endurance course, I just had to push through the pain of my feet banging into the front of the boot 
every step I took, like when I was going downhill, it was even worse because I was just pushing that toe on that. By the end, I had black feet, black toes, which I've got a picture somewhere, somewhere. But um, yeah, at the end you've got the hare and the, the the rabbit, the hare and the fox. I can't remember what it's called. You just you basically you're just running from where you do your carries. You do all your carries with your partner. You got your hare to the finish, and then depending on the train team and how well you've performed, they might make you run back to camp or they might get you in a van. We probably got the easy. I, from what we gauged, we probably got the easiest PRMC. We didn't get thrashed. We had no press ups to do in the morning. Everyone cleaned up. Everyone was working together. No one back chatted. There was one guy, but he got he left. Um. Other than that, uh, yeah, we didn't get thrashed at all. We got in the van. We got Mars bars in the van. Water, banana. When you do your carries, you get you get a banana and some orange juice with salt in. Um. But yeah, uh, after that, the third day, you get your certificate, they talk to you, tell you what the, how it's like in the Marines, what you'll be doing. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to end this. But yeah, um, so that's the PRMC bit. Uh, it'll be in part sort of thing, this. Uh, next video will be later. This is the PRMC part. Next will be the training part. Then it'll be the, the like the hunter bit when I got injured, and then it'll be leaving process. So there's like four parts to this this video, um, but they'll all be coming out pretty much in, within a week. So that's that. Um, but yeah, guys, if if you're if you're young, eighteen to twenty one. If you're young and you've got well, when I say got nothing going for you, when you when you you're bored and you're tired of doing the same thing. And you want a challenge, try the Marines. Try it out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You'll gain experience, you'll gain, you know, friends maybe. It's just, it really is very, very different to what you think it will be. But it is definitely worth it. Especially if you've got that, if you've got the mindset, you're going to be sound. But just do it. If you don't like it, you get home, it's fine. No one thinks you'd be any better, any worse. You gain shit from it. But, other than that, just live your dreams, all that stuff. So, yeah. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, share it, turn on the notification bell, and did I say subscribe? Subscribe. I think I said it. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow for another vlog. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.